Yes. Let's see, we're going to, uh, well, uh, then we did dusting in the wind, I think, is it? I think so. Okay. Prepare. Opening. Three rings around the moon. One, two, three. Big Dipper. Swallow skim to water. Lock and sweep. To the right. To the left. Little dipper. Swallow returns to nest. Agile cat. Catches the mouse. Phoenix lifts its head. Wasp enters the cave. Phoenix opens right wing. Little Dipper. Phoenix opens left wing. Waiting for fish. Poking the grass. Seeking the snake. Two. Three. Embracing the moon. Birds lodge in the forest. Black dragon swings his tail. Green dragon comes out of the water. Wind blows the lotus leaves. Lion shakes head. Two. Tiger covers head. Wild horse jumps the ravine. Reigning in the stallion and compass. Uh, dusting in the wind. One, two, three. Oh, hello, Kelly and Tamara. All right, so uh, let's do it from uh, Black Dragon swings his tail. So from here. Okay, Green Dragon comes out of the water. Wind blows the lotus leaves. Lion shakes his head. One, two. Tiger covers his head. Wild horse jumps the ravine. Thrust down. Um, Raining in the stallion to compass, connect them together. Uh, dusting in the wind. One, two, three. Let me see you do uh, from here. I'll watch you do this from here. From wild, wild horse jumps to ravine. And then I'll call it raining in the stallion to compass. Dusting in the wind. Turn right. Then to the then from the 
left side, then from the right side. Uh, okay, so let's review. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's let's review um, two things. One thing is how to do the uh, the uh, the connect the ring and the stallion and the pump. I'll do regular trick. Back and turn and step, then shift and bring it back. Bring your foot in and then step out and thrust out. Okay, so just do it, do that a, a, a few times on your own. Pull it and step, good. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's good. So there's no stopping between those two movements, put them together. If I had more time, I would have taught them on the same week, so he wouldn't have the habit of, of it being separate. Okay. Okay, so so try to have this circle. I'll show it with my right hand, basically a right hand circle. Here, see, and then down. And then thrust. Okay, so just make a circle with it. Pull it up. Make make a circle around like this, like a teardrop type of shape. Bring it down. Step. Thrust it out. That's how you connect them. Good. Good. All right. Good. All right. That's better. All right, good. All right, then from there, the dusting in the wind, I'll uh, go over it again from this direction. Uh, I'll face the camera. One is to turn and bring the tip up and bring it down to the side, at least the side, maybe even a little bit further back. But I would say to the side is enough because what you want to do, this is the idea, I, I think, is that you want to get over your shoulder. But we're going to, maybe this is deflecting, I'm not really sure. but. Uh, we want to get this feeling here where it goes not from here and then up to your shoulder, but it circles back and up. Okay, so like this. Okay, so back and up, back and then it circles back some more and then you're lifting it and then it's over your shoulder and then you turn back. Okay, so try to get that uh, kind of going so it's continuous that way. I mean, you keep moving in curves then it's continuous. And this is where we're going to use our, our one, two, three chop and circle type of thing. So it's the chop and then tip up. So Alan, Alan, all right, so yours is still like this, it is like here and then straight out. That's how your, is, yours is going. You need to come down, remember? Remember the chopping is ha handle down, then handle up for the chop and then tip up. So go down, up, down with your hand, okay? You see it? Down, up, down, like that. No, that's better, but go lower. Like, so, so you're going like this, uh, like here, it needs to go more low. Tip, tip up is like this, right? Not here. Tip up is, is here, like 45 degree angle sort of. And then chop is here and then back to tip up. So go here, chop, and then back to the tip up. So bring it down, it's like tip up, chop, and then back to tip up. Yep. 
Yeah. Okay. Well, that's that's the idea. So just try to make it a bigger up and down with your with your right hand. Down more. Down more. Yeah. There. Get closer to there on the swing, the first swing, and then up, and then back to that position. Uh, uh, Kelly. That first step, is it just a straight step out? So here and then op open right away, or is there a? Yes. No. It's just an immediate step. Yeah. But for the third one, we do come in, right? Well, because your step, your because your foot's back, right? So when there, so when you, so when you're here, you can just go like and step out because it's from there to there, right? But when it's back here. You don't want to go uh, is this the right side. One. Uh, Your compass. Okay, this is one, right? We for two, for instance. Well, here, we 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 shift have to shift to the left some and step out, and here we have to shift to the right, right? Your foot's way back there, so we can't go like this, right? That that just swinging your leg around, right? So when it's far away, you need to bring it in some and then step out. But it doesn't have to come. It doesn't have to come. It doesn't have to come uh, all the way in and step out. It can just be just naturally, just natural Tai Chi walking, right? So um, that's all. Thank you. So here, here's something to do with your looking direction, I think. And Nessie, you can watch me and you can tell me. Nessie will, Nessie will correct me if I do. So first, you look, you follow the sword, okay? Then it's going over your shoulder. Don't, your body's this direction. You're gonna step. When you circle down with your left hand, look forward now. Basically look to, look to the left, okay? And then end up looking to the diagonal, okay? Then here we look to the left, we follow our body turning, turn to the left, bring it up by your shoulder and step, but now you should be looking like forward. And then to the direct, the, the cutting direct, the start striking direction, okay, here. So to the right and then to the left, okay? So right before you do it, be basically be looking that direction. Instead, you can't be like this. Here's, here's the issue. You can't be like this and just with, with your body turning and then look, right? You're gonna chop something, you need to like see it first. That's a little bit different than the hand form. In the hand form, we do have just kind of open, right? But in the hand form, you're touching someone, right? So you don't, you're not touching them with the sword. So with the hand form, you're already touching them, you don't really need to look at them. You can kind of just have your head follow your body a lot of times. You still follow the moving arm, but that's in front of you basically almost all the time. So, um, but here, before you do it, you need to, basically be looking in the ahead a little bit so that you don't chop somebody accidentally, cut at somebody you don't want to. <clears throat> so just look at, ahead of the sword a little bit. Yeah, Caesar looks good. That's pretty good, Miranda. The left one's a hard one. The left side, uh, going to the left shows hard. <laughs> Rita, I'm glad you saved that for me to be looking at you. <laughs> oh, go ahead. I can't see everyone at once. So that's a long castle. That's a pretty long castle. I extended it because it was too short before. It used to be uh -huh. this long. Well, 
Maybe you want to pick something somewhere in the middle there. It's harder to control the longer it is. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, you're right. I am so uh, happy. Uh, I'll make it this long. <laughs> yeah. Well, mine is about. Mine is about. Uh, 10, 10 inch, 11 inches, something like that. And I'm happy with this because they're not also very heavy. So I like that. And uh, I have another pair just for in case, you know, doing tests or something. So I don't have to use the new ones I do not like. They're heavier and it makes it feel kind of longer and they're harder to control. Yeah. Um, but supposedly they go with the new, the new uh, sword, the current swords, they, they match them better or something. I don't really know. But with my sword, it's um, it's pretty. I like the way it's balanced. It's balanced over around here, around the centers of around here. The new ones are balanced like right there in the guard, and so uh, and part of that's from the tassel, I think. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. Yeah. But uh, yeah, play with it because uh, I don't want you to cheat. Yeah. Well, right now doesn't matter, but for a test, I don't want you to cheat like Ed and have your like a two-inch tassel <laughs> that can never wrap around anything. Well, mine was originally like Ed's. Oh. And that's why I added this this extension uh -huh. because I I wanted to get the feeling of what it's like if you end up wrapping it around. Uh -huh. well, so no, it was originally like this, which is kind of short. Longer, maybe you'll maybe it'll help you in the end. I don't really know. Yeah, that's yeah. true. You really have to have control to have the long one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. All right, so is everybody happy with this movie now? Oh, we're going very fast. Um, this takes a, a some uh, uh, it takes a lot of practice, right? So just keep working on this one. Also, the poking the grass that one's another hard one, right? So just some hard ones and then kind of easy ones. Well, let's go on then. Everybody okay going on? Okay, all right. Uh, after uh, the third one, I'll do it this direction. After the third one, which is to the left, then the next thing is called, uh, what's the next thing called, Nancy? Nancy, what's the next one called? After dusting in the wind? Yeah. Pushing the canoe. Pushing the canoe. Pushing the canoe. <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, well, I'll do it the regular direction, I think, is this direction. So I won't be confused. Here. You shift back and turn and you point yourself to this corner. So you're pointed near the, the left corner. You're gonna to turn to the right, to the right corner. Point your toe to the right corner. Then you step back, okay, along that line to the corner. Then you circle back and tip up. Circle, circle back and tip up. That's from one, two, three, that's number three, right? Then you step out for a bow stance and you circle down your left hand and you rotate the sword. Like, okay, I'll talk about that. Then you push it forward. Maybe that's hard to see that direction. Um, I'll start over here. Here. Back, turn right, uh, turn 90 degrees, step back, circle back, bring your toe, your foot in, then step out. For a bow stance and start your uh, circling down, rotate the sword, then push it forward and cross, okay, and go into bow stance. So pushing the canoe. Um, the, the the circling back should be easy because that's a one two three practice thing, okay. Uh, in fact, so it's like here, it's already tip up. You you just step, you turn your you turn and you step back. We'll look at that. Um, maybe we'll look at that first. The footwork is like this. Back, turn to the corner, then step back from there and shift back, bring your toe in, bring your foot in, then step out, bow stance. Okay, so it's uh, inside the corner, a zigzag step to this corner, and you end up this corner, bow stance. But you take a step back and then go forward again. Okay. Um, that's pretty easy. That, that's easy thing. So here's the hard thing. After you do the circle back, you're like this. This is the hard part. So well, there's two hard parts. Is you it met, it met, take the center of this of the sword. 
just make a circle, rotate it from being tip up to being down at a 45 degree angle, just like that in place, okay? Just rotate it mainly, okay? Just from here, I'll show you here. From here, and then I step out and I go like this, here, see? So here, now it does come forward a little bit, but the main thing going on is just to angle it to be pointed down 45 degrees. The meaning of this one is that somebody has a, a staff, right? And they're a spear and they're trying to get you. And you, I guess you def I guess is deflecting you to start with, but then you like go like this and then you push along the staff, okay? Which has their fingers, you know, attached to it. So you push it up the staff, touching the staff, okay? Or this, the stick anyway. All right, so from here, then circle and now, I would say from here, it's it's kind of across from my shoulder. Okay, so it's not back, it's here. I want you to have this feeling. Then you step out and the feeling is keeping it this height, push it forward. Push it forward till your body is basically pointing in the direction of your foot, which is to the corner, but I'm doing it straight right now. I guess I'll do it the real direction. Circle, step, and my body's pointed this straight, turn, my body points to the corner now, from here to here. So see if you can feel that. Push forward in a, in a plane, it's in a plane right now, keep it in that plane, push it forward, okay? You feel it in your shoulder, it's a little twisty in your shoulder. Okay, Alan. So I, I guess I'm not following the whole move. When do I, when do I, um, when do I bring the sword back compared to my foot? Are they this ones before the other or at the same time? Uh, okay, it's like, like one, two, three is like this. So uh, you know, you here and tip up and say you're in a bow stance, basically. Then circle back and bring your foot in. You see it? So from being forward shift back, bring my toe in. Then I step out again and rotate the sword and then I push it forward. So here's the count. Here's the count from here. One, back and turn to the corner, to the right corner, turn right. Two, step back and uh, I'll say step back and circle back and bring your toe in. Then three, Step out and circle down your left hand and rotate the sword. Okay, and then four, push. Kelly. Like how high are your arms? Because I feel like my shoulders are going up. Because uh -huh. I'm trying to cross my I'm am I trying to cross my left hand? Like does it close more than usual? Your when you're done, your your uh, wrist will be in your inside elbow, basically. Oh, okay. That's how much you cross. So here to here. Okay, thank you. And uh, I'll do it straight towards the camera. This should be 45 degrees down, but not turned in at all. So this is straight up and down. Here's 45 degrees forward, okay? It's like a little dipper, you know, at this at the end, a little dipper like this, right? Not like this or some other other way. So just 45 degrees pointed forward in a plane. Keep it in a in a plane, a vertical plane. So we didn't talk about the left hand yet, exactly. So you shift back and you circle back and tip up. Then you step out and you rotate the sword and your left hand circles down, down and forward. And now your foot is down, okay? Then when you push forward the, the sword, it comes up and they end up crossing at the elbow. And your hand is like above your arm, okay? Above the elbow. 
go from here to here. The hard part of pushing it is to get it to be, to keep it in this plane the whole time. You have to twist. It does feel maybe like your shoulder's coming up because you have to twist it to do that. Otherwise, otherwise it won't be straight. So well, here it's easy to do by your shoulder. When you push forward, if you don't, you know, it'll be at an angle crossing you. So you need to do this. So you kind of have to lift your elbow at the same time. That's what makes it difficult. So if I, you know, find where you can do it and it minimizes, minimizes that. That's too high, Didi. This is too high. This is just above your shoulder. Maybe just here's your shoulder, just above the shoulder height. Then you can feel pushing forward. If it's too high, you can't feel pushing it. Okay. From here, you can feel push. Yes. Okay. Mike, when you get the chance, I got here late. Could you show this in context of the move, the move before this, and then the beginning of this move? Because I missed that. Just so I can see where we are. Start uh, from compass. Okay. Okay. Com compass is this direction, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, all right. So we do the uh, dusting in the wind. One. Two. Three. Then. I'm pointing near the near the left corner, my left corner over here. Back and turn to the right corner, and step back from that in that dire diagonal direction. Then shift back and circle back, tip up. Then step out and rotate the sword. And my left hand goes first, forward, down and forward. Then push, and it kind of comes straight. It just bends at the elbow mainly, and comes and connects to my elbow, my right elbow. Thank you. That's just what I needed. Not that I'll remember, but that's what I needed. Oh, you remember. <laughs> remember to step. Remember to step back before you start moving the sword. Uh, put it back. You need to put your foot on the ground first. Yeah. Caesar, can you step back so we can see your feet? Well. Can you step? Yes. Okay, good. Okay. Did you see? Here, here comes Nancy. So you guys can keep practicing, or uh, you can watch Nancy if you like. Okay. <laughs> One of the biggest flaws people have with this specific movement is the footwork. So what am I talking about? When you go to push towards the corner, you should be in a bow stance to the corner. Okay. So that means then when when we're like this, and we shift back. And we go like this. Okay, wait a minute. Hold on. Uh, two, uh, three. Okay. Uh, watch out for your dog. Okay, we shift back and we turn. Then we shift back and we step. Uh, I'm not able to show it like that. Okay, okay, here we go. Okay, shift back and turn. Now my left foot goes to the corner. When you shift back and you step with this right foot, you bring it in and step straight. So oftentimes people are stepping like this. This foot needs to be straight so that so that then when you go here that you're stepping out into a bow stance. So that this foot isn't looking like this. 
So, so one of the tips that Master Yang gave for this specific, specific movement is uh, when you shift back, bring this right foot in, then step straight back. Okay. Oh, here, Michael. Oh, that was short. Nancy, just one question. Yes. When you're taking that, I'm still trying to figure out the transition from the other one, but when you're taking um, that step back, is it kind of one line, two sides? Yes. Okay. Yes, because, because when you bring it in and when you step back, now it, it, it's kind of close to that center line. Right, right. That's what it looked like. Yes, and, and then step to the corner, yeah. So try try your best to step with that right foot to the straight 12 o'clock direction to push the canoe. And so hopefully by bringing that right foot in yeah. will help manage to get it to that straight position. Uh, all right, here's the transition again. You have a tip up, this is the third one, here, tip up. Back and turn 90 degrees, point your toe to the corner, the, the, the right corner. Then shift to the left, step back, one line, two sides, and your toe points straight. Shift back, circle back, tip up. Then, and look to the side. Then look, for, look forward with stepping out and you circle your left hand down and rotate the sword to make it a 45 degree angle. And it's kind of close, your hand kind of close to your shoulder now. So you can feel pushing. Feel the pushing from your turning left, turning left. If I, if I didn't have the sword, it would just be like this, okay? Push, but my hands turn the other way, push, okay? That's basically it. Instead of this, you start with your hand this, this direction, push, okay? But at the end, you're still kind of, you're square to the corner. And um, so put your hand in the place that you could feel pushing. If it's too high, it, you won't be able to do it. If you don't want to start too far back or too far forward, right? So this one is a little physically difficult. So when you get in your final position, look at your footwork. Are you in a good bow stance? That means your right foot should point straight. And at the end, your uh, your left wrist should be in your inside elbow. It crosses your arm, touches. Yes. Yes. Look to the right, Dee Dee. When you circle oh, back. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just keeping track over here. Yeah, right. So I have to look, I have to follow and yes. look off here. Okay, thank you. I'm trying to lead the sword, really. Alan? I'm a little bit uncertain when I finish the move um, where the sword is in my body. It can sort of be in the middle or to the one side. It can be lined up with your shoulder. I'll do it straight towards the camera. So from here, push. So it's, it's like coming out in, in the plane of your shoulder. Now it looks like it's not for me. It looks like it's out a little bit. It feels like it's in the plane of my shoulder, okay? But because I guess to do this here, it would, everything will be lined up with my shoulder, but I had to turn it this way. It's, it's not, but it, it's a little bit out, but that's what you could do, right? That's just the way your body's made. So that's the, you. how you can put energy out. It's a little curve to get to there. But it feels, you know, it feels like it's pushing out from my shoulder. Lower, lower, Alan. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Try that. Yeah, lower and closer. Yeah, there you go. That's better.
Yes, yeah, so you need to feel, you need to feel that you can feel pushing, push, push out with that weird angle, you know, for your arm, your arm twisted that way. Okay, good, good. Cross, cross at your wrist, Alan. Yes. Cross your elbow with your wrist. Okay. Um, the angle of his sword is not right. Yeah. Okay. So, so Alan, that's pretty good. At the end, I, uh, I don't want to say at the end. Before you push out, well, while you push out, put it this way. I want you to get it to a position. See this height? That you can push it and it will stay that height. So you get it too high. When you try to push it, you end up like low, kind of. So start where you could, it's a little bit above my shoulder here push out with it and keep it level. So the idea is that the sword is in this shape, in this direction, everything, uh, orientation, and it just goes forward, okay? And it keeps the 45 degree angle. It just goes forward along this line, okay? So it doesn't go from up to down. And if you start down high to high, you won't be able to feel pushing. So then you'll want to lower it. So start lower and then it will just stay that height. It's just a little bit higher than your shoulder. That looks good, Kelly. Okay, that's pretty good, Miranda. Okay, all right, good. Okay, good. All right, so let's uh, is everybody happy? Can we do the second one? Uh, one more question. Yeah. At the end, how far out is my right arm? It it looked like your your hands were crossed close to your head, but I'm ending farther forward. Uh, here for the side. Uh, I'll do it to the corner. It's it's like this. I'll, from, I'll turn to the straight direction. It's like this. So my left hand is kind of by my head. Okay. Okay. But it crosses my elbow in that crease there with my wrist. Okay, so where- Okay, I misunderstood. I thought across the, the wrist, got it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Just make your body square to the corner. Okay, well, let's go on then. And then we'll be, have these two things to do. This one's a little physically hard to do. I think hopefully it wasn't hard to understand how to do it, but it is a little, this, this pushing is kind of weird. And even this getting this circle is a little different thing that we've done before. So something new. This next thing is not new. So this should not be, this should be okay. So I'll do it this direction. After we get to here, uh, this next one is called, uh, Oh, I should look these up before I do. What's it called, Nancy? The Phoenix uh, opens its. No. Oh. Chasing, chasing the star. Moon. Oh, yeah. Chasing the star. Moon, the star. Yeah. Shoot. Shooting star. Comet chases the moon or something. Um, I think it should be comet. That doesn't make any sense. 
right? The shooting star, I think they usually say shooting star chases the moon. Well, Rita but, would know. But a shooting star, a what? shooting star goes in and it's gone. But sometimes you'll look up at <laughs> the moon and there's a shooting, a comet, and there is going to stay fixed in the sky and not move around. Anyway. <laughs> I think they both move. <laughs> well, the comet moves. What, what is the Chinese translation to uh, Rita? Is it both, probably. Well, it's. Um... <laughs> Yeah, it's it is a shooting star. Okay. Liu Xing, Liu Xing Gan Yue. Chinese is a very imprecise language. They don't know what they're they're talking about most times. <laughs> <laughs> Chinese is a great language for poetry because so many things mean many things. Yeah. That's it. It's just poetic. All right. So from this, I'll do this. You shift back, and we're going to cut back the other diagonal direction. So shift back and turn and point my toes straight. And I keep my, my left wrist in my elbow, see? And my, my sword now is still pointing in the diagonal direction. So I was like this, back and turn, bend my right arm, my elbow, okay? Point my toe. Then I'm gonna step out. So it's the usual 180 degree turning. And then from there, chop and out straight. Okay, a straight chopping. So we have not done this uh, chopping yet in this form, is it right? I don't think. We do it and we were just doing this in the saber. The saber has something like it. You start like this and then you go out straight, but basically handle goes straight out and then you go chop and you can't kind of keep it level. Okay, it goes down a little and chops, but it doesn't, it isn't like pointed down and it isn't uh, down and up too much, okay? It's more just like, in the, go in this direction and down a little and then chop, okay? So that's the, uh, the sword. I'll show it again. From here, back, back and turn, point your toes straight, back and step, and then chop. Now, the sword's going in the diagonal direction that I'm, my new direction. And my left hand goes down a little and back and points back. Okay, so uh, this is level with my, coming out of my shoulder. This arm is not totally straight back, but comfortably pointed back. And it's like, it's pointed back. It's not like this, it's, it's flatter, straighter. They're both straight to be more balanced. My body, <clears throat> Sometimes like in the uh, single whip, when you have two arms sticking out, almost always for us, we're, one hand is down here, right? When you're doing things uh, or, or it's pointed at the sword or hand. This one is pointed back. But then, in this, then in the hand form, your body would be straight up and down. Here, it's not straight up and down. Here, you get to lean a little bit forward, okay? To increase the reach of the sword. The sword is what matters, right? So, uh, you go a little further forward, okay, to reach more. So a little tilt forward, okay. Uh, so let's look at the, the the chopping again. I'll do it from here. There, you're crossed. I, this is, I'm going to go a straight direction, and my my uh, sword points in the other straight direction, points straight back, and I'm going to go here. My left hand is going to go down a little and point back. Okay, like this. Okay, if you do this right, your, your, your tassel will have a little jump in it. This is not right. Up and down. See, then the tassel makes a big circle and often it will end up crossing your arm like this and mess it, mess it up for you for later. Yeah, just, yeah, like BB. I'm just being helpful. The right thing is not up and down like this, okay? That's that's too much for the tassel to handle. It's straight forward, see? And down a little bit and then up, up still. Huh? So here, that's the right the right way to do it. Okay, just make it smooth. Don't do it too hard to start with. This is an easy one to put too much energy into apparently. Okay, so there are a few places in the form. If you put too much energy like little dippers, another one, 
this, the, the tassel will wrap around and so you have to like back off on the energy. All right, so let's do it, let's do it together then if, if you need that. So uh, from um, here, from pushing the canoe to the corner, you're going to do a 180 degree turn. Back, turn, point your toes straight. Then keep the tip pointed at the original direction. Then bring your right foot in, step out for a bow stance, and then un uncoil your arm. Your arms are twisted up a little bit. Okay, chop. Okay, so kind of kind of easy. So when you come around, does your right foot come in or does it step straight out? This is just okay. This is just like a, a hundred eighty degree turn anywhere. So it comes. You're like this, back and turn. Point your toe to the straight left toe straight. Then bring it in and step out. But right, you need to bring okay. it in. You do bring it in. Okay, that's what I thought, but I just making sure. A little, yeah, at least a little. So to get out of the way of the sword, this is going to go forward. The left hand is going to go down. Now it's out of the way. So don't just feel open because maybe you'll scratch your arm, right? With it, you can't just open both arms. You have to take it down, get it out of the way, and and then, uh, you know, not not cut anything off of yourself. Where's our gaze go? Uh, okay, so here, back and turn. I'd say you just look in the direct, straight direction. Then step, and then I guess you start looking in the in the in the direction you're going to go. Okay, the, the corner direction. How long do I keep looking back? Because I start looking back. You start okay. You start looking you know, this diagonal direction back. When you turn, I just follow my body turning. Ah, just keep following where your hand is for a while. Okay. Basically, yes, and then step, and then I, I guess from here I start to look to the right. And then when I start moving, I'm looking in the right direction. When I start moving, okay? Okay. So try, kind of feel leading, leading the sword with your looking. You look ahead a little bit. Before you got here, we talked a little bit about that. You need to like look in the, towards the direction the sword's going before you put the sword there. So, okay. Yeah, Turn with your body. Right okay. foot's got to be straight, Alan. Need to be a good bow stance, Alan. Okay, Judy, see you. So that the tips remains to the corner. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Before you before you turn before, before you chop before you chop it's before yeah, you right. chop yes if you didn't do anything it'd be like this right it'd be like this right so there's a rotation or the or it stays as you turn you close your elbow and keep it pointed in the same direction right thank you it's in the right direction to chop with and it's kind of like the chopping we were that we we're doing with the dusting in the wind from your left shoulder right right. Kind of like that, only flat. Okay, thank you. Yeah, the most challenging part of this movement is keeping this the tip of the uh, sword pointed at the corner as you turn. Okay. That, is it? Yes. All right. Most people don't get that right. All right. And then the other one is having your left arm circle down when you chop. Uh, this is a, this yeah. movement is going to be repeated again. 
And it's got a different name when we do it again. It's called, uh, well, we have, we call, we call them uh, cartwheels. Yeah. Okay, Left so it's cartwheel. half of the cartwheel. Um, Left cartwheel. The left cartwheel. So, yeah, we have le left and right cartwheels. So this and the next movement are repeated in the, in the form in a different place with a different name. Yeah, so let's go ahead and try to put these two together then. From, from the dusting in the wind to, to uh, pushing the canoe with the current. Back, turn, back, circle, step out, push. And then, good. And then, uh, comet chases the moon. Back, turn, point your toes straight, step for a bow stance, and chop. Could you, one more time, just go through the relationship of when this hand goes down to when is it is it this kind of thing you know like it, like what's the timing of of, of my chop and of, you know it's like like you pull it out and then you chop it i'll do it this way back and turn back and step and then down down they both feel like kind of going down forward and a little down see ah and then yeah. they both go kind of go out they both go yeah they're both going this one's going to go down like and out okay i'll try that it was going to go that kind of a flatter chopping I told you the other name, the other name for this movement is the cartwheel. And so this is kind of a down and this is kind of a, the top of the circle kind of, okay. So, so that's the, but we don't, I tell you, we can't do it like that because the energy makes the tassel fly too much, but that's the, I kind of think you would think of that. Okay. Just don't, just make it kind of flat. All right. But so the other name is, is cartwheel, left cartwheel. Yeah. Right, do, it, do, it a, do it a few times. Those together. Do them, to, do them the, together, Rita. Open together. Together. Your open left hand open. Together. You chopped. Okay. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Caesar's good. Didi's good. Uh, Alan's good. He's good. I'm watching Miranda now. Oh, okay. That's good, Miranda. <clears throat> All right. So keep doing it a couple more times. Practice a few times.
this TV, you need to step first before you open. Yeah, I just realized that that was like late. Yeah, yeah. When I did it, it felt wrong. Thanks. But that's the other thing. Is it one of those things where I'm stepping, opening, and then bending my knee at the moment of the chop, I bet, right? Because that'd be when I'm transmitting the energy. Right. Reaching that end of that point would be the moment I really want. I right. want that happening, right? Yeah. You're bending okay. Your okay. I just can't do it yet, but I think I, I figured that out. Yeah. No. Yeah. That's good, Miranda. Okay, so do it from now from um, from the compass, just from just from here before you do uh, testing in the wind, and put that put that together. Okay. Can we do it with you. Uh, if you if you like. Thank you. Uh, from compass, testing in the wind. One, two. Three. Uh, pushing, the canoe. pushing the canoe with the current. And Comet chases the moon. And just repeat that. To smooth it out, there's no in between the choppings, there's no stopping. Hey, that's I can make a song out of that probably. <laughs> yes. When you're doing your choppy, try to feel it coming out of your legs. Legs and, uh, and body turning off. And... <clears throat> okay. Okay, so we're gonna stop here. I gotta go get my <clears throat> my second COVID shot. So I hope I feel good. The next Luck. Uh -huh. That's good, everybody. So um, we're moving along. I think we're we're at least a third of the way through. So we're making so far. So I don't know what the number is. Rita, what's the number? What's the number for or uh... thirty-five. Oh, and there's, and we're doing 70, what's it called? 67 is the oh, we're total. Over halfway through. Well, that's good. <laughs> and I told you, this is what we just did now is going to be repeated later and the next one too. So we're, we're picking up, well, we got probably all the techniques, you know, that we're going to do this other one, a slicing left and right, stepping back. We're going to do that five times. It's a lot of things we know how to do already. It lets us speed up as we go. So, you no, know, maybe it felt like we were dragging along a little bit, but now we can pick up some steam. So for it, for Dee Dee's sake. No. Okay. All right. Thanks very much. And Thank uh, you. practicing. And maybe we'll see you tomorrow. Good job, everyone. Have a good shot experience. <laughs> Before, during, and after. Yeah. Thank you. Caesar, have you Thank gotten your COVID shots yet? Well, no. <laughs> Not yet. Okay. Here, we don't have. 
the, the vaccine yet. Um, oh, just yeah. for, for doctors who work at the public system. Uh -huh. uh, I work for my own uh, in a private clinic, so I don't know when it's going to be. Uh, okay. Well, I hope it's a I hope it's sometime soon. Yeah. I I hope it's soon. Yeah. We are in a constant risk, you know. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, stay safe. Thank you. Okay. Okay. All right, everybody. We'll see you. Bye. Bye bye. Thank, Thank you, you, Mike. Thanks. Thanks. Bye, I think he's turning the lights off, guys. Yeah. <laughs>